Hi everybody, Craig here. Welcome to episode 21 of my 1 vs 3 vs 3 Age of Wonders 3 playthrough series. In this series, I'm playing against two separate teams of three Emperor AI per team, and I'm playing as the Halfling Dreadnought, Welby the Tinkerer. In our last episode, we finally reclaimed the city of Sassistan. This is a city that we've kind of been in a tug of war with Colm. Uh, it originally belonged to Colm the Lucky, who is my human warlord opponent. We took it from him a while back, and then Colm recaptured it. And now, thanks to the efforts here of Hab uh, Warmaster Habby and his stack, along with a number of other machine units, we've been able to successfully reclaim the city and bring it back into the fold for us. So, uh, big, uh, big progress here, kind of on, I guess, the eastern front of combat here with Colm. And then um, we've got some other interesting developments as well. If we jump underground, you can see here we've encountered a, a full-fledged city belonging to Colm's teammate Camille Moonflower, who is a halfling rogue. And unfortunately, at this point in the game, she has some extremely powerful Shadow Stalkers, as you can see right here. And this one is an elite Shadow Stalker, meaning it has, uh, well, just a ton of, of health and um, inflict freezing cold and a few other things. So... Uh, really, really scary things we have to be very, very careful of. But um, obviously, we're going to continue working here in this episode. We've got a lot to do. But before I dive in, I did just want to give a couple of quick shout-outs to a few individuals who left some excellent comments on the last episode. The first of those comes from uh, Roan here. Now, Roan here pointed out uh, just a, a kind of a general reminder for me, and that is that in that first turn of combat, I've lamented that uh, the flame tank cannot use its fire attack in that first turn. However, something that can be done is you can actually use a reload. So, in the case of this halfling engineer, if I wanted to, I could use the rapid reload ability in order to um, reload the flame tank so it could actually shoot its fire attack on the very first turn if I wanted. I had kind of forgotten about that, so thank you to Roan here for that excellent reminder. Uh, the next set of comments comes from Insert Username. Now, Insert pointed out that there's actually no real reason for me to continue saving up level up points here and upgrade points for Welby. And that's because we're now at level 13. I don't really think there's anything special that we get at level 15 or anything like that. So it would actually make sense for me instead to just use my, uh, use my, my points here. And you can see I could save up for Tree Crusher, get some extra gold. Although, quite frankly, I don't think that's really going to be of tremendous benefit for me. So I think what might actually be a better choice would be to just put it into some more stat upgrades uh, for Welby here. You can see that his, his resistance is a little bit low, so maybe we plop it down into resistance. There we go. Just kind of... So uh, again, good reminder there from Insert to, at this point, saving up our points isn't really going to be of a ton of, of benefit for us, so we might as well start using them to make Welby stronger. The next thing here from insert is that I should be very careful when I am digging in the underground. And the reason for this is because if I start digging away these uh, dirt walls here in the domain of this uh, goblin, or excuse me, this dwarven vassal, that's actually going to potentially decrease the happiness of this vassal. So instead what I should do is actually take this little guy and maybe go back over here and dig this out. And the reason for that is because dwarven units... Um, they actually like the, here if we look, um, they like mountains, coastal mountains, but they, the cities themselves actually really like the subterranean, uh, the, the dirt walls. I'm just trying to figure out how to see that. In any case, they, they like the dirt walls. And so if I were to start digging these away, that would actually decrease happiness a little bit. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to make sure I keep this little guy, um, you know what, maybe I'll even start working him over there. So I'll have him go over here and start digging on that side. Good reminder there from insert. Um, another quick reminder that one of my new cities has an unchanged mana node, which I can uh, convert to a uh, fire node, which I'll, I'll make sure I do that when I get a chance. Of course, I'll have to you know figure out when it works because I, I don't want to use up my casting points necessarily on that. But when I get a chance, I will. And then insert is also pointing out that in, in this situation, I've found myself in here with Camille. Um, I have to be very, very careful because since these are Shadow Stalkers, uh, they are going to be extremely powerful, very, very dangerous for me. And so I may not want to actually charge right into battle here right away. 
And uh, instead, it might actually be better off for me to wait and see if maybe I can rally some additional troops here or just kind of play a little bit more defensive while I'm taking on Colm. And then once Colm is hopefully eliminated, I can then maybe redirect and start working on Camille. Um, I do have a bit of a natural choke point here with these rock walls. And so basically I can just park my hero kind of right here. And that will only allow one stack at a time to come in and fight me. So uh, that's positive in that respect. I may still decide to go in and try and fight. But I have to be very careful because not only is this going to be a very difficult battle for me, but I'm also going to potentially be susceptible to additional stacks of units coming in to reinforce. And of course, that could be absolutely devastating for me, even though I have a, a fairly powerful stack with Divine Justicars of, of Holly here. So uh, good, good points there from Insert. Uh, and then finally, a set of comments here from Samuel Gomes. Samuel pointed out that any of these uh, cities that I can't bring into the fold, I could as well demand tribute from them to try and uh, drum up some extra income. So, for example, here, um, I was actually trying to gain a few of these cities, but these ones I was trying to save up gold for. It was this one, and then there's also an Archon one up here, which is uh, quite expensive, 501 gold. So this one is going to cost me. But um, basically, Samuel's just reminding me to... Uh, Always consider that you can demand tribute if you need to for some extra gold. Uh, in addition, uh, Samuel points out that he thinks it's time for me to bring in the big guns, and I, I couldn't agree more. I think it's time to, uh, you know, again, we're we're really putting the herd on Colm here as much as we can with our uh, very uh, appropriately named here big guns. Uh, we're bringing the cannons in, so we're going to try and keep that going. And as always, uh, a big thank you to everybody for the fantastic comments. They are truly appreciated. And now, let's dive into this episode and get to the action here. Okay. So, again, we've had tremendous success here sieging Sassistan from Colm. We're gonna... We're in the process here of releasing it as a vassal. We don't really want to have to babysit it. And we're just gonna take our troops over here and start waltzing into Colm's territory and try to really just knock him out as quickly as possible, I think. Uh, we're gonna have to be very, very careful because... I suspect Camille may bring some troops down once again. We also have a few of Colm's units that have popped up kind of in our domain. We have to be very careful that they don't um, start basically trying to siege our cities. All right, so let's figure out what we had left to do this episode. Um, I think we had moved most of our units, and it was mostly just production at this point. Um, Arendelle has a quest for us. Tell me more. Yeah, they just want these undead killed off. I think we're going to decline that quest because, quite frankly... We don't have any units in this area that I want to redirect to that purpose, so we're going to hold off. Uh, we're going to ignore Valok's request to join us once again. The reason for that is because we want to save up gold to bring additional cities into the fold here. Um, I don't know if there was anyone else we could still move. We've already moved Holly. We've already moved Welby. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to really generate a ton of additional income. Um... Yeah, most of our stacks we've already pretty much done everything with. Including our Tigran here. Yeah, so everybody's pretty much moved. Let's just double check the Shadow Realm here. We did have an interesting development in the Shadow Realm last episode. Colm was bringing some of his units in. If we peek over here at our Vassal City, you can see that Colm has brought a hero and a few units here. So he's probably going to be able to capture my Vassal, unfortunately. So I'm going to need to... Uh, reinforce my Archon dwelling here that I recently brought into the fold. So I'm sending some units down to try and reinforce that, and I'm working on some lightning cannons as well in the Shadow Realm here. Uh, now, we have some extra mana. Something I could actually do here is uh, maybe do some uh, terraforming here to try to make my cities a bit happier, and I think uh, Rakalin would in particular benefit from it. So let's see if there's anything maybe we can do to improve happiness. So let's take a look at our Shadow Elf units and see what they actually like. So they like ve dense vegetation. They dislike blighted Arctic subterranean. They hate tropical and volcanic. So we'd want more dense vegetation. Now, can we can we do that? Change the terrain to dense vegetation. Yes, we can. All right. Um, most of these tiles are already dense vegetation. Uh, but we could do a few more. We could do one here. And... Can't do that. Uh, yeah, these are already dense vegetation here. As is this. 
I don't really want to do it on the road necessarily, but there's a few fertile plains that we can convert. So let's do that. Yeah, there we go. Void there. Just to try to improve our happiness ever so slightly. Again, we can't do much about the void here, unfortunately, but it's a little bit of wetland there we can convert. Might as well just try to maximize happiness for our shadow elves here. Do the same on this side. I don't want to completely cut this off if we need to go and get to this um, shadow gate here. So I will have to be a little bit careful. But we could do... This is Baron's here. Let's, let's get rid of that. Yeah, this is, a, this is actually good. I should have done this a while ago. Um, but we now actually have access to the... Uh, I think we got Terraformer from one of those dungeons that we did from a lost library or something. So that's going to help out a lot. There we go. So that's going to make those cities a little bit happier. Um, we'll, we'll save some extra mana. We can do that again later as well. Uh, with some of our other cities to make them happier as well. Okay, let's think about production. So I think in most of these cases we're just going to do merchandise because... Again, we don't really want to spend our gold. Now, rip your... Uh, we might have to make an exception. I think what we'll do is we'll bring in this outpost first because it's not that expensive. So we'll bring them in and then we'll just keep in our minds that they want to join us as well. This is too expensive for our blood right now. 501 gold. We'll have to wait till next turn and maybe we can drum up some extra, some extra funds for that. Uh, I would like to produce another unit here just to have um, a little bit of extra reassurance that this city is defended. Maybe we'll do a, a night guard just to have a, a pikeman there in case we come under attack from more of Colm's units. We are sending a few units over to kind of reinforce. Up to Bittercrest now. Um, let's see, we do have a cannon there. Yeah, and I think we're going to just start sending it over this way. And same with this flame tank as well. We're just sending everybody over. So let's zoom in here on Bittercrest. Um, again, I kind of want to save a little bit of gold here. So perhaps we do maybe an engineer instead of... Ooh, you know what? Oh, actually, you know what we could do? We can forge another item. That might be good. Let's think about what our heroes maybe would benefit from. Um... How about Warmaster? Warmaster already has double repair items. He's got a repair dr emergency repair drill and a repair kit. So he has repair machine and emergency repair. So he's already pretty good. And he's got a decent selection of items there already. Uh, I suppose we could make him a dominate item, but that might be a little bit um, unnecessary. Uh, Holly and Pimpton can both convert already, so they're pretty set. Welby, I think, has repairing capabilities so since he's a dreadnought he already has emergency repair we could make him a repair kit so that he could further repair his machines that maybe isn't such a bad idea um let's think about it here so if we go and generate an item uh jump over here let's take a quick look so that might be a good idea we can do we have emergency repair. Let's do repair machine. And then let's pick a nice item for it. Um, repair bag. And we'll give that... We'll probably give that to Welby, I think. And that's only going to cost us 49 gold, which isn't so bad. It is going to eat up a lot of our mana, but that's okay. Uh, we'll forge that. So once that's finished, we'll send that to Welby. Uh, hard Thistle, in the meantime, we're going to just continue pumping out big boy units here. We might actually send this cannon over in this direction, I think. And then we'll just keep on producing some beastly units. Let's do another cannon. Uh, Bebjun, unfortunately, we are basically right out of gold now, so... Uh, Bebjun, we're going to have to hold off here on anything. And Kurzu, same story. We're just going to hold off. All right, now we've got our little spy drone who's being constantly attacked by these undead. So he's just going to have to keep on moving. To stay away from them, unfortunately. Okay. This little spy drone can continue to just hang out. 
we can move our units up as much as possible there. Try and maximize the movement. All right. Now, what do we want to cast here? Um, we've got some options. We could do another spy drone. We could do a hellhound. You know what? I think the hellhound might be the most beneficial just to have another unit. So let's do that. We'll start working on that. I mean, again, it's not like that's a huge... Uh, doesn't make a huge difference, but every little bit's going to help, I think. So let's jump back up to the surface, and we will end our turn there. All right, now the thing I have to really watch out for is what is Colm and what, and what are, I, I should say, what are Colm and Camille going to do? Actually, it's Camille's turn first, so let's maybe pop underground and see if we can keep an eye on her city. Ooh, and look at that. Okay, so she is reinforcing it a little bit. That's uh, probably a wise choice on her part, I would think. I won't lie, it is very, very tempting to siege this city. Because the longer I wait, the more she's going to bring reinforcements in. Oh, that's a tough call. Colm has won a battle, so that's probably for my va- Is that my vassal? Yeah, so not really a surprise there. He took my vassal from me. Um... Let's see what he's doing over here. My guess is he's pulling his forces back and going to try and kind of reinforce. We've had a domain invasion at Ripura. Oh, he's gone into the Shadow Realm, I guess. Yeah, there he is. So this could end poorly for me if I'm not really... If I'm not careful. Yeah, so he's got this Manticore Rider in here. I need to make sure I'm well defended. I need to get a unit on this city ASAP because he could get down there and cause me some problems. Boy, this is uh this is getting very interesting. But yes, we are going to prioritize sending our units down this direction, that's for sure. We may take on this battle and just kill off these elementals here. That might be worth doing since we're going to be kind of in the vicinity anyway. It would be ideal to get this engineer into this stack so we can start repairing these machine units a little bit. I may actually have to break this engineer off and get them into this stack just so that we can repair our machine units that have taken a, a beating. We do still have this engineer, but he's a little ways back, so... I think Quandria is going to become quite the issue for us just because of the... Um, again, it's another rogue, which means we're going to be up against Shadow Stalkers. And she's been very active in the Shadow Realm. As is uh, to be expected of a Shadow Elf opponent. Shouldn't be surprised that that's where she ended up hearing. So, and this is her vassal, so... ay ay ay. We have Leo's stack here. Thankfully, he's acquired a Blight Elemental, which is going to help him recruit some additional units. Kurzu has been affected by Insight Revolt. Okay, so one of our rogues is not happy with us, I think. I think that's a spell from a rogue. Might be from... Actually, it might be from Colm. I can't remember if Insight Revolt is from a rogue or a warlord. I'm going to have to go in and look when my turn is... When it is my turn. That might have even come from Zorn. Actually, yeah, it probably did, since he's the one currently active. Although I suppose it could have come from Quandria when it was her, her turn. Uh, domain Invasion at Kurzu. That's not good. Oh, and our little guy is currently under attack. Well, because the Hunter Spider has phase, I don't think we can win that. So we'll just unfortunately lose that unit. All right, let's see what happened here. Uh, the dwelling of Arongir has de declared war on us. You know what? That's actually not so bad. We could send, uh, we could actually send Pimpton in to go and take it over. Um, not a bad idea. Something, to, something for Pimpton to do while we kind of rally some troops. Let's take a look at Kurzu here. So yeah, Kurzu is being uh, is in really rough shape at the moment. Um, so Insight Revolt. That's coming from... Okay, that is from a rogue. That's what I thought. 
So that's coming from Quandria. Uh, that's not ideal. We might want to try and get rid of that. So I assume this city is going to come under attack in the very near future. Um, not a whole lot we can do about it at the moment. Valok has offered us a tribute. Some mana or a small army. I think I will actually accept the small army. Because every little bit of troops is going to help. Yeah, look at that. We got us some, some decent units there. I mean, again, they're all tier 1 pretty much, but... They could be of some assistance to us at least. All right, let's do a little bit of exploring here with our Tigran. All right, we're just bringing the Tigran kind of down. Um, now, as for Pimpton, we can do this battle and then turn around and maybe go for the dragons. I think that's going to be the plan there. But before we do that, let's kind of sort the rest of this out. So, yeah, so he took our vassal out. Really not surprising. He had a hero plus some really beastly units. So, again, not a huge surprise. Domain Invasion was just them going into the Shadow Gate there. Ripura, of course, is now uh, a little bit in danger. Even in, in greater danger, unfortunately, is our city down here, uh, Rakhalin. So this could be a bit of an issue for us. Yeah, now we could try a battle with him. The only problem is I don't know if we have enough, uh, enough oomph in our stack to even win. That's something I'm going to have to consider. And then, of course, now that he's taken... This uh, city, I'm sure he's just going to walk his way over and grab my Archon dwelling from me. Which is going to be a shame. So we'll get our unit down there. I mean, it's not going to make a huge difference. Maybe we can summon the Hell Hellhound to try and, I don't know, provide some kind of uh, deterrent. Garengar would like to join us. We're not going to accept that. We just want this to stay as a vassal. We really don't have the resources to um, devote to that at the moment. So we'll grab some extra money. There we go. That's big. That helps us out quite a bit. And then we can uh, move over this way. Alright, so now the big question. With Holly here, we could grab the haste berries. So let's do that. That's going to allow us to venture over here and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so we've got some extra units moving in to reinforce. You know, I think we might just try this battle. I hate to say it, but I think we might just try it. We do have Iron Grip on the city, so they're going to be very happy. Shattering Hammer is going to be an effect, of course. We do have ourselves a Succubus. <sighs> I think we'll we'll uh, we'll leave this alone and then we'll try it. So unfortunately, Kurzu is rebelling up here, I noticed, so rebels are going to spawn. So yeah, we're pretty much going to lose the city. I don't think there's a ton we can do about that. Um, okay, so they want to become our, our vassal again. I, I would like to accept that, if at all possible. Um, Ix would like to join us. No, we're going to keep that as a vassal. We just don't have the money to spare. All right, so now let's do some unit movement here. We've, You know what? Let's do Holly. Let's do this. We're going to bring in our other stack like this. Um, yeah, we'll move them like that right there, and then we'll go here, and then we will engage this battle. I may... I may come to regret this but I'm going to give it a shot okay and unfortunately we've had a curse that has been laid on our flyer um, I think we'll just do a bestow iron heart on the flyer so that they are immune to mind control and then we can start kind of wiggling our units in here a little bit and I want to kind of keep them... The uh, Shock Trooper in particular is going to be susceptible to that mind control. Since it is an orc with lower resistance. Ooh, and this ogre is not the strongest, so we'll keep him back a little bit. Our Ice Queen can kind of hang out a little bit back here. Alright. There's that Shattering Hammer coming into play a little bit. Rain of Poison Blades affecting us a little bit. Right, nothing too extreme so far. Um, I think maybe what we'll do is we'll move up to the ogre and we will lay a touch of faith on the ogre just to make him a little bit stronger. Musketeers can step right up and blast those storm bows for some damage. We'll keep our shock trooper maybe kind of with Holly just to provide a little bit of assistance here. Uh, the flyer is going to be... Well... 
I think we'll go like this. If we move that flyer, and the flyer is just going to get obliterated. Um, however, maybe we go in kind of like this, and then just park him in defense and hope for the best here. Let's see what happens. Ouch, those Shadow Stalkers are nasty. Okay. Yeah, so the if you have elemental damage, that's where it's um, ideal. Because these Shadow Stalkers, if we look at them, they have 60% physical protection and then 100% blight and frost protection. Um, so if you have fire or spirit, that's usually pretty good. Thankfully, our units do a little bit of spirit damage, although not nearly enough to make a, a massive difference, unfortunately. Um, yeah, like, look at this. They're just disgustingly strong. Um, you know what? Let's move in and attack the Stormbow here. There we go. One less thing to deal with. Um, Holly, on the other hand, could start smiting, actually. That's not maybe such a bad idea. Um, start smiting these Shadow Stalkers here. So this is the big beastly one. So let's... How much damage can we do with our ogres here if we attack? Not not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Um, I think maybe we'll move our shock trooper around this way. Yeah, the flyer, unfortunately, not in a great position. So I think we'll just defense it up. And then, you know what? Let's try for a... Oh, hang on. Fireball. Does that do? Eh. I was looking at well some of Welby's spells here. I don't think I'm going to need them. I think we'll be okay with Holly. So let's do... Oh, you know, maybe we, we could have used an instant Wrath. That might have not been so bad. But let's see if we can get some big damage on this Shadow Stalker. Ugh, resisted. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll do a little bit there. And then we'll step our Ice Queen up to try and help a little bit. Spy Drone can move up as well. I think we're in pretty tough here, but... Ooh, moving target. That's never fun. Okay, there goes our ogre. Thankfully, we resisted the seduce, which is very good. Bring our spy drone in like that. There we go. That did some damage, at least, to that shadow stalker. Um, oh boy, this is actually kind of not not going quite so well for us here. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. There we go, and then we can get the kill. Very nice. Okay, that's one down two to go. Not to mention that boar rider there. That's pretty strong. Um, I think with Holly, we might actually retreat back a little bit here and use Smite on this one. Dang it! I was hoping that wouldn't get resisted. Ah, uh, you know, if we get a high roll here, let's see if we do eight. Oh, we're gonna have to get really high rolls to get the kill. Come on. Let's see. What if we break off like this and go for it. That's not going to help. Come on. Ah, dang it. Alright, we're going to do this. I just I wanted to get that kill. Make sure that that was dealt with. Now we've just got one Shadow Stalker left. And unfortunately the Succubus, which is quite strong. Okay, there's that throwing a curse at me. It's not so nice. Okay, we've still got our Ice Queen, thank goodness. Um, okay, we can kill off the Boar Rider here, I think, without too much issue with our Shock Trooper. Okay, very nice. Now, unfortunately, this Shadow Stalker is going to obliterate my Shock Trooper. Um, and then the Succubus is going to be obviously quite problematic for us. So I think what we will do is... We're going to step up like this do the flank shot and then let's see can we cast any more spells we can we could do an instant wrath on the ice queen or on the shock trooper i think we'll do it on the shock trooper geez we might not be able to win this battle i'm gonna keep trying but uh, that's a shame all right things aren't looking so good for me at the moment um yeah, we're out of spells. We're going to have to use some of Welby's, I think. Uh, we could summon a Siege Engine. Or we could do some extra damage here. 
hang on now. How much damage do we do? Oof, not not a very good amount, unfortunately. Um, I think all both these units have mind control immunity. Yeah, they do. That's not really going to be of much help for us. Um, oh boy. Uh, summon Siege Engine might be what we're going to have to do. Although, again, that's not really going to be of tremendous help for us, to be perfectly honest. Maybe we just do a skin of oil here. And then with Holly, we could kind of retreat back. Drop a self-heal. Let them come to me. Throwing that curse at me. Alright, now we could fireball it up. Yeah, there, that's going to help us a lot. Could also throw a curse. Alright. So, if we were to charge in, how much damage do we do? Uh, not enough, really. What kind of range does that have? So, if we back up, that's okay. Alright, there we go. So, now, let's throw another fireball. There we go. Shattering Hammer is going to keep doing damage, but... Okay, and now we should have our heal up again. Yep, that's exactly what I was hoping for. So we'll drop our heal. And we could do one more fireball. Not quite get the kill. It depend it'll depend on the roll. Let's see. Oh, lucky. Dang it. Yeah, we're in we're in we're in tough here. This isn't going so good. Um Let's see if we build up a charge. Ooh, that's not going to be ideal. All right, let's do it. Oh, and a lucky. That might have just cost us the battle here. Let's see. Trying to throw a curse at me. Okay. All right, we did get the kill. Now it's just this Shadow Stalker that needs to die. All right, let's see. So if we step on up, heal ourselves... Unfortunately, we're going to keep taking damage from that. Really not a whole lot we can do about that. Now, what kind of range do we have here? So if we move right outside of its range... Can we throw a curse? No, we can't. Let's see if he's going to step out to me at all. He will not, okay. The other option is we run over this way and try and get out of range of that shattering hammer. Okay, he's coming after me now, so what's the range on him? We're going to have to kind of go over like this. Do the self-heal. Okay, very nice. Now we can get out of the range of that. Oof, that's going to be nasty. Let's, uh, let's park right there. Just want to see, can we do something to... No? Okay. Alright, come at me. Now, the question is, what kind of damage do we do with our... Oh, barely any. Yeah, I don't know if... I don't know if we can win it. To be perfectly honest, I don't think we can. We don't have any spells left for either of our... Yeah, and even with this kind of damage, I just don't think we can do enough to really make a huge difference. We can't convert. Uh, let's just double check if we have any other... Ooh, we have Sun Disk. I almost forgot. That might come in handy a little bit. Oops. Um, didn't mean to rotate the battlefield there. Um, all right, well, let's... This is kind of a last-ditch effort, but let's try it. Oh, that's pretty, pretty sweet, actually. You know what, we'll step off one more just to... And then we'll do that. Again, I don't think it's going to be enough to make a difference. We're probably still going to die here. Yeah, ouch. And I don't think we can use that again, can we? No, you can't. Um, something we can do, though, is drop a self-heal. Oh, and Lucky coming through for us there. Okay. 
Now, let's see. Now we just have to get over there. and tr We could try and convert even the... Uh... Can't quite throw a curse at it. Boy, we uh, that actually worked out super well. Again, I didn't... I didn't maybe play this the uh, the ideal way, but... Alright, so now we'll step up. You know what? We'll, we'll heal ourselves quick, and then we'll try for a conversion. Kind of odds we got. 60%. Very nice. Alright, we got ourselves a settler, at least. Alright, and all of our units are back. Unfortunately, these two died off, but we have our main stack um, conserved there. So that's great. We could even step over here and try and kill off the... We do need to take the city, however, so... Let's see, if we use Holly to take the city, can she still make it back over here? She can, okay. So, now we have control, and it looks like this is a dead end up here, so I don't have to worry about anything coming out of that direction. So, basically, if I have my units out over here, they should be fine. Whew, boy, that was, uh, that was a close one. I think I'm going to just absorb this city. Yes. All right. And then, yeah, we'll send Holly over here. Send our units over there. And then what we'll do is we'll we'll engage this battle just to try and kill off some additional units here. can even try for a mind control on the Axemen. Boy, we used up all our spells, but I think it was worth it. At least I hope it was worth it. <laughs> Okay, um, now we do need to drop some big heals. Our units are absolutely devastated here with damage, so let's heal up that flyer. Can go in and use guard break on the uh, trebuchet. There we go. And I don't think our ogres can get in there. No, they can't. Um, flyer can get in and do some work on the trebuchet, thankfully. Do a little extra damage there, and then we'll just use our ogre as a bit of a guard here. I suspect the axe man's gonna flank somebody. Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's try for a conversion, perhaps. You know what? We can use guard break with these guys. I don't want to get the kill, so we'll just use up some of our movement. There we go, and then we are gonna try. Or a conversion. Fantastic, okay. And now we can basically just finish off the trebuchet. Excellent. So we can use that axe man as a city guard, perhaps. Um, we'll just regroup our stack there. Boy, that was uh, an excellent turn of events there. But uh, that was nail-bitingly close. Nail-bitingly close. I generally don't like it being uh, that uh, that close because that was really... Uh, <laughs> whew, I was uh, starting to sweat there a little bit. Let's just say that. Okay, we'll bring this cannon over to uh, help garrison Sassistan. Um, I think what we're actually going to do is... Bring the engineer down here. We're going to engage this battle just to get this kind of dealt with. Because we might as well. Try not to take any unnecessary damage here. Okay, let's figure out what would be the best approach here. So, we can do a nice cannon shot at this spirit elemental. Let's do that. Very nice. Uh, we can bring this cannon over as well. Fortunately, I don't think we're going to get a shot on the spirit elemental. Maybe if we go like this? Nope. Well, let's blast the boar at least. Oh, and I still have this cannon as well. Let's see. Excellent. And then, I think with this one we can do the same. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Alright, that takes care of that one. Um, now, our engineer i think we're gonna do Ooh, you know what we could reset the cooldown on the flame tank and then do a nice fire blast yeah let's do that all right so now ooh, fortunately that i forgot that that spirit elemental has so much fire protection 
Thankfully, the Nymph does not. Ooh, and you know what? I, I could have used the Guard Breaker, but then I wouldn't have been able to use the Fire in the same way. So step up and do that. There we go. Uh, now, this little guy, we can... And he's really unhappy because... Broken Spirit. Yeah, that's why he's so unhappy. Um, you know what? We could... Maybe we can get him over here. He can... Oh, why are his units... Uh, is he, his... Is this... Dazed. Unit cannot perform... Oh, he's dazed. So that's why he can't do anything. I was like, why can't I use my abilities? But that makes sense. Uh, War Master as well can act here. Might be nice to just go and mess with this Zephyr bird here to make sure it doesn't do anything funny. So let's maybe do that. Yeah, there we go. Our Musketeer can also step up and kill off the bird. Okay, let's see what happens here. Hopefully nothing too traumatic. A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Yeah, basically nothing. I can live with that. Yeah, and unfortunately that engineer just can't really do a whole lot at the moment. Um, we will ram the boar from the back and then ram again. There's the kill. Very nice. Um, as for over here, we've still got the spirit elemental who does need to be killed. I think what we'll do is we'll actually reload our cannon just so that we can blast like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to try and repair somebody that needs it uh, we'll do an emergency repair on this flame tank over here excellent and then we can um, we should be able to get the finish here between our two units I think reload let's see can we ram this thing to death uh, not quite. Um, you know what? Let's maybe do... Yeah, let's do this. We'll take a little extra damage, but that's fine. Then we can get the kill with the fire. <clears throat> okay. That takes care of that. Um, Alright, so now how do we want to proceed? So we'll probably add this guy into this group. And then I think we're just going to start basically just trucking our way over into, into Colm's area as best we can. Just going to start working our way up the road. We'll keep our stacks together just in case we come under some kind of funny attack. Meanwhile, that cannon can guard the city for now. We might need some additional guards. And that's where um, I'm actually going to get this flame tank heading up that way. And uh, this army that I've got, we're going to send in. Um, we'll bring the assassin over. Let's see, what would be the fastest way over there? Going up through there. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll have the assassin go along for that ride. Um, and we'll leave... I think the rabble can evolve. So we'll leave um, this little guy back. So this stack here, we're just going to send them up this way. Ooh, you know what? The, the goblins can keep on moving. Maybe that would actually be... Yeah, let's do it. It's a risk because we're leaving our units by themselves, but... Uh, I'm just trying to decide who would be best to maybe send along. Let's send the untouchable as well. There we go. Um, okay, what else is going on? So now we got to decide what to do with Pimpton. Um, you know what? I think it's actually going to be good. Let's turn him around and go in for these dragons. I'm going to ignore this. I'm, I don't want to use up any extra movement on it. We're going to... Oh my gosh. Maybe that wasn't so smart. Uh, it's a lot of wyverns though. And only two... Uh, only, well, only two fire dragons. Yeah, that maybe wasn't my smartest uh, move. You know what? Let's step off and see if maybe just some of them attack me. Um, hopefully not the whole army. I mean, if they do, they do. We're just going to have to try and not die. Uh, really, all that's the only thing we've got is the flyer. Yeah, this was actually a really foolish uh, foolish decision. I, I wasn't expecting the, uh, the dragons to have this extra stack of wyverns. So that's going to be... 
That's maybe not going to end so well for Pimpton. All right, so now in this stack, we're going to just keep moving over this way. Try and reclaim our lost city. Our cannon's coming along for that ride, too. Um, Fahas is almost done. The Dreadnought's Foundry. Then we can start making some engineers there, which is going to be useful for us. Uh, this cannon... You know what? Let's maybe start sending some uh, some resources north here a little bit. Because we've got some nasty business going on north. Okay. Um, yeah, I think everybody's pretty much kind of done their thing. Uh, you know what? Part of me is tempted to do this, and I'm, I'm going to do it. It does leave my engineers a little bit vulnerable, but... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Um... Arundel, we're not going to be accepting, of course, the joint offer. Yeah, this was a huge turn of events for me up there. Very fortunate. I, I would say I got quite lucky, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we'll throw a guard on the city just for now. Uh, Rados here. We're just going to do merchandise. A lot of cities, again, it's going to be merchandise, merchandise, merchandise. We just need the gold. Um, now, Ripura, do we want to try this battle with this Magical Rider? I'm thinking no, because quite frankly, even with a Pikeman, I don't think we have enough to really do that battle. Uh, my worry is that this unit is going to be able to fly right on down and basically get into the city of Rakhalin, which is uh, a problem. So, thankfully, we are going to have this lightning cannon next turn, which is going to hopefully be enough of a deterrent. But we need some units here in Endram, and we're not going to be able to make them. So that's where we're going to summon the Hellhound, I think, once we're able to. All right, here we go. We got Leo, so let's do some work with Leo. Uh, we can do some clearing. So let's just start working our way through some structures here. The name of the game with Leo now is going to be Dominate Everything in Sight. We need to try and get as many units as possible at this point. So, um, Unicorn cannot be affected by Dominate. So, might have to go for the one of the fairies or something like that. Let's try and... Ooh, that's not really going to do much. Um, you know what? We can step our Blight Elemental up and hit him with a Weakening Breath. And then our Mystic can blast a little bit. Not that that's going to do much. Dread Spider Baby, we're going to just kind of retreat around back. Leo, we will keep sort of in reserve. And our Brew Brothers can basically just hang out where they are. All right, let's let them sort of come to me here. All right, we're going to wear Panther it up, and then we are going to do some big damage. Fastic. Um, we can actually get the kill on the Fell Horse with our Dread Spider Baby, which is quite nice. So let's do that. Nice level up for them. We want to try to get them to evolve, if at all possible. Um... And then, yeah, let's just light up this unicorn with some damage here, if at all possible. Um, we could do some big damage there. Uh, gotta be careful. My Blight Elemental actually did take some damage. Let's kill off the Foot Soldier. Leo, we can charge up and attack the Unicorn Rider. Or the Unicorn, I should say. Um... Yeah, we'll just do this. And then this. Fantastic. Holy cow, that was wild. I'm surprised Leo took that much damage. That was uh that was terrifying to be perfectly honest. Okay, we'll kill the unicorn there. Now we're going to move our blight elemental up like this. Throw on a Weakened, and then try for the Dominate. Only a 60% chance, so it's actually no guarantee. And Leo's actually going to be in a really dangerous spot if we don't get the Dominate. Um, I, 
think the Brew Brothers can probably get the kill, though. So let's try it. Nice, we did it. Okay. Whew. That was a little scary. Uh, I need to be really careful with Leo. I can't be uh, losing him at this point. All right, so we got ourselves a Buttercup Fairy. That's great. Um, we can engage this battle now. Oh, I do have to be careful. There's some powerful units here. Especially these um, lesser Shadow Stalkers. They're pretty nasty. Uh, they do have mind control immunity as well, so I won't be able to get a hold of them. So it's going to be probably the Assassin or one of the Scoundrels that I'm going to be trying for. Um, now, with Leo, just to be safe, I think I'm going to retreat him back a little bit. We're going to throw on the Nourishing Meal on him because he's again in kind of rough condition. And then we're going to throw on Phoenix Warrior on our Blight Elemental just to play it safe. There we go. And then we can move in and get the kill. Meanwhile, our Spider Babies, we're going to retreat back and be careful. Our Buttercup Fairies, unfortunately, are in kind of rough shape here. Um... All right, let's do some work. If they end up dying, I guess it's not the end of the world, but I'd prefer they didn't. That actually worked out pretty well, because now the... Um... Oh, not quite in range. Now I can charge right in and go for a dominate. Ooh, I don't have the movement. I was going to try and dominate the assassin. Um... All right, let's try and kill the Shadow Stalker. Not quite... But we can get the finish here with our Spider Baby. Good experience. There we go. Silver Medal. Excellent. Um, I may just have to... Oh, I don't, I don't want to let my Blight Elemental die. Um, I'm going to throw a Weaken on the Assassin. And then I'm going to step the Brew Brother up like this. Yeah, and then Leo, I think we're going to... We'll use one more Phoenix Warrior and we'll put it on... Maybe on the Spider... Actually, you know what? No, we won't do that. We'll throw Last Stand on the Blight Elemental, just so that it might not die. If it doesn't die, then it can um, continue to, to disgust the Draconian Assassin, assuming it doesn't break off. Okay, that's just fine. Oh, and we actually killed him. Dang it. Well, that's all right. Uh, we'll wear Panther the Mystic. And I think what we'll do now is we'll just charge in with Leo. Do a crossbow shot and then get the kill here. Yeah, that's just fine. All right. And now I guess we can do this battle as well since we're in the neighborhood. Just have to be careful. The Blight Elemental is obviously in rough shape. But we can use Phoenix Warrior yet again. Buttercup Fairy's taking some damage. Um, yeah, so Leo, we're going to pull Leo back. And we're going to Phoenix Warrior, the Blight Elemental... And then we'll do the exact same thing. We'll Nourishing Meal, Leo. And, um, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Fortunately, the Buttercup Fairy is probably going to be killed. Not that that's really a huge loss for me at this point. Um, Blight Elemental can actually step up and do a blast here. Very nice. Meanwhile, the Mystic can finish off the Wisp, I think. There we go. Oof, there goes my Blight Elemental. A little bit unfortunate. Um, yeah, let's blast the Phantasm Warrior for some damage here. Again, we have to be kind of careful just because the damage capacity of some of these units is, is reasonably high. Keep our Buttercup Fairy just kind of out of it there. We're going to let them come to us. Alright, so first things first, we're going to kill the Phantasm Warrior. And then... 
We can move up and engage the... I have to be careful, though. You know what? I think I'm going to, just to be safe, I'm going to throw a Phoenix Warrior on the spiders. And then I'm going to step up and try for the web here. Okay, it didn't work. Meanwhile, the Brew Brothers here can step up and do some damage to the Apprentice. And I think that's going to do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I threw that on just to be safe, because that could have ended poorly for me. Now, uh, unfortunately, Leo isn't quite in range to get a Dominate off. But we can actually do some pretty good damage here. There we go. And we should be able to step up and... Uh, it'd, be, it'd be nice to not maybe get the kill, but try and get the conversion. But I think we'll just get the kill here. There we go. Get that extra experience with the Dread Spider. Try to get it evolved here into a uh, Dread Spider Queen. There we go. Some extra knowledge income. Not too, too bad. And then, you know what? We can do one more battle here. So, how many casting points do we have left? Only eight. So, we aren't going to have the capacity to do Phoenix Warrior. But we can use a last stand. So, just have to keep that one in mind. Um, you know what? Maybe not worth trying that battle just yet. We'll step up like that. And then, we'll we'll park, our, park ourselves right there. God, the thing I'm the most afraid of is, is Pimpton's situation, though. I shouldn't have rushed him in like that. That was uh, kind of a rookie mistake, to be honest. Alright, let's go back here. So now we have to decide what to do with this little stack of units. We're not going to go fight that, that's for sure. Um, we can start retreating ourselves down. And uh, you know what? We could actually try this battle now that we've kind of got reinforcements here. But uh, I think we'll just wait until next turn. All right, uh, rip your uh, here. It'd be great to get some more production. Um, let's do another night guard for, uh, since we're up against a magical rider, maybe. We've got two ranged units. Spy drone, yeah, let's do another pikeman. Another night guard. Over to Beb Jun now. Um, might want to wait on that. Let's maybe kind of see what else we can do for movement here. Yeah, we want to get Welby up into the action because obviously the longer he's out of it, the more, uh, you know, that's that's some pretty powerful units that aren't aren't in play, so. And we're going to get these guys up to the front here as soon as we can. And I'm going to take this off of camp just so that we remember to move those machine units. Should have maybe grabbed those, those haste berries on my way through. Um, all right, so now the Orc Priest can move up as well. We want him there so we can throw a curse if need be. Uh, let's grab this. Maybe we can go for one of those Fire Elementals. I think we can dominate them. Pretty sure. So we have to be careful, though, because, of course, they can explode. Um, all right, let's just get rid of these hellhounds if at all possible. There we go. And our flyer. You know what we're going to do is we're going to throw on Guardian Flame, I think, on our flyer. There we go. We can kill the hellhound. Nice. All right, so now the priest can retreat back just a bit. Ooh, and we can't... We, unfortunately, we cannot curse the... Uh, we can't curse the fire elementals, which is a bit of a... a bit of an annoyance, but... And our flame tanks are not really going to be nearly as effective in this battle just because we're up against units that are fire immune or fire resistant. Ouch. Okay, um... Could bring our flame tank up and get the ram kill, or be very close to it. Uh, now, let's see. If we try to dominate, what are our odds? 65% chance. That's pretty good. 
Of course, the the issue is that Welby is going to be put at, at tremendous risk if we uh, if we fail. We can do a little bit of damage here, not a ton. All right. Well, yeah, let's do it. Nice. We got the ram. That's good. That helps us out a little bit. All right. Sixty-five percent chance. Pretty good odds. I think we're going to give it a shot here. Very nice. All right, that's excellent. We got ourselves a lesser fire elemental for now, at least. Let's reload our cannons. And then we can... Yeah, we can tie up the fire elemental here with our... Draconian flyer. So let's do that. Nice. Excellent. There we go. And just like that, we got ourselves an extra unit. Um, now the question is, do we want to keep clearing down here or get ourselves up into the fight? And I think the answer is going to be get ourselves up into the fight. So we're going to send Welby up this way, grab, maybe try out this dungeon, depending on how strong it is. And then we're just going to keep on moving and get up into the fight ASAP. We really need to get up in there. Um, we also have a city over here that I think belongs to Galendil. But, uh, yeah, I want to just get Welby up into the action. All right, let's think about production here. Again, we, we don't have enough gold to bring that Archon into, our, into the fold, which is a shame. Um, now, what do we want to produce? Um... You know what? Maybe an engineer just to go along with some of these units here. That would be kind of nice. So let's do that. We'll make one engineer. That'll also keep the gold cost a little bit lower. Uh, now, over in Hard Thistle, I think we just keep pounding out flame tanks and cannons. So let's do that. Uh, Kurzu. Man, there's a part of me that's just wanting to abandon Kurzu entirely. Uh, we'll just do merchandise, I guess. I don't know. I mean, if I just take these units away, that... I don't know. I don't really know what, what I would do with them. Um, this little stack... Again, we were anticipating Valok being brought into the fold, but that's kind of not really happening. I guess I'll just keep them there. Alright, so that's our turn, so we're going to end it there. Well, reasonable turn. My my biggest uh, thing here was, was Holly winning that battle, I think. Very, very dangerous battle, but we got it done. Now, hopefully, we don't get uh, a massive uh, attack coming through this cave exit. That would be quite uh, unfortunate if that were to happen. Okay, so Camille's turn is done. Let's jump up here and see what Colm is going to do. My guess is he's just going to garrison the, the crap out of his cities in here using his magical riders and war breeds and, and uh, phalanxes and whatnot. So we're going to have to, of course, deal with that. Um, I, I'm guessing in the Shadow Realm he's just going to keep on. Yep, here he comes. So he's going to take this from me, which is quite the shame. He has his hero by himself, which is kind of interesting. I am going to summon this Hellhound in here, though to try and at least give some semblance of uh, of resistance. Not that I think it's going to matter. I, I shouldn't have brought this in. I should have kept this as a vassal. That was a, a big mistake. Uh, of course, I, I didn't realize Colm was going to be pushing through and attacking me, but... Looks like his Manticore Rider has maybe, I don't know, gone back through or buggered off somewhere. I'm not sure where he went. But he's not there anymore, so that's maybe a good thing. I don't know. Uh, Galendil is moving. Hopefully he doesn't decide to get too angry at me and start attacking. He tried to disjunct Suppress Nature and he failed. This might be a good opportunity to maybe reinforce that spell. Alright, now, when these Independents are rolling around, let's see if we, just, we get attacked by all these dragons. I hope not. Oh boy. Yeah, we're just gonna... 
we're just going to let them roll over us here, unfortunately. So that was to be expected. I should have probably just ran those units back, but... So yeah, Quandria in the north is going to be quite the issue. She's got a presence in the Shadow Realm. She's got a presence now in the Overworld. Ay ay ay. What I maybe should have done in that battle is actually uh, engaged it manually and then surrendered and had my units just die off to prevent giving her any extra experience or seducing a unit. Now that I think about it, that would have probably been smarter. Definitely made. I've definitely made some mistakes this episode, that's for sure. Um, I've had some good things happen, and I've, I've admittedly also gotten a little bit lucky, especially with Holly's battle. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I feel like this, this game is kind of still perched on sort of a razor's edge, where it could, uh, it could tilt either way. Again, let's see what happens here. This is going to be the big thing. Does Pimpton get attacked? If I lose Pimpton, I'm in big trouble in the north here. Again, this was so stupid of me to try and attack this dragon dwelling. I got kind of overconfident again, and I let that get to me. Okay, he didn't try to attack me, so I got a bit of a reprieve there from my stupidity. Um, we've gotten better at governing orcs. This isn't really going to matter. Uh... Let's just do war halls are cheaper, I guess. Um, we've finished advanced logistics, which is going to help our units get to battle quicker. Empire quest completed heroic skill. Be the first to have a hero or leader reach level 15. The hero gains five bonus skill points. And that is for Holly here, so that's quite nice for her. Um, let's do her level up right now, then. So what are some options for her? Um, probably just more casting points would be good. Blessings, blessing of health isn't terrible. Uh, just extra health. But I, I don't think that's really that useful, given that we already have Divine Justicars. So maybe just more, more casting points so we can cast more spells. And then uh, perhaps maybe a little bit of uh, some extra health or something. Yeah, there we go. I guess I could also grab Healing Aura with her. Maybe, that, maybe I should have done that. Because, again, my units are taking quite a pounding, as you can see. So extra healing wouldn't be so bad. Um, I think we're going to leave the Axeman behind, and we will send our stack up above. But let's do the scouting with the Unicorn first. Ooh, boy. Okay, some stuff going on up here. So we've got some miscellaneous units, and we've got, oh, Camille herself, and she is not in a good spot. This is great. Okay, we're going to step over like that. This is a great opportunity to actually deal a, a pretty substantial blow here in this game. So let's step on up. And there we go. Okay, holy cow. Now we have to be really careful because she's obviously got a lot of powerful units up here. Um, oh, and look at this. Awaness is here too. Interesting. So, oh my gosh. So an Awaness is a, a teammate of Camille and of Colm. So let's see. We can, oh, you know what? We can, we, we can kill a couple of units here, actually. This is great. Um... Right, let's first do this. There we go. Okay, so we're going to try and kill off Camille with the minimal amount of damage to us possible. We'll see if that's even possible at all. Okay, throwing a weaken on me. Let's see if there's some spells being cast or something. Not really. Uh, you know, this, is, this battle is not a give me because my units are in rough shape, as you can see. So uh, we do need to be careful. Um, why don't we use Bestow Iron Heart maybe on the, the flyer here? And then we can send our, our ogre in to do some work with that. We'll send our shock trooper right up the gut like this. I'd like to kill off the Grimby Crows just so that they're not kind of threatening us anymore with their mobility. So we'll do that. And then our flyer can step over. Meanwhile, our musketeer can just kind of be a bit of a guard for our hero. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so she killed off my... Ouch. That weakening breath is kind of nasty. Um, 
Maybe a good opportunity for some healing here. I don't think we can convert the Blight Elemental. We can try, but I don't think we can. It says we're out of range. Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't think we could. Um Okay, I just, I do have to be careful a little bit. Um don't want my hero getting in any real danger. We'll teleport in behind like this with the unicorn. Do a nice flank shot. And then we should be able to get the finish with our shock trooper, I think. Oh, but we fumbled the attack, which kind of put a bit of a damper on my plan. Uh, we'll do this. And then we can step up flank Camille there. Oh, and I, I forgot I didn't even use my heal. Whoops. <laughs> that was kind of a, an oopsie on my part. Um, could try and curse her, I guess. Alternatively, you know what, I can step the ogre. You know, yeah, here's what we'll do. Step the ogre over, heal the ogre. There we go. And then, we, you know what, we can bring our musketeer over and do some extra damage that way. Ouch, that assassin strike was pretty nasty. Um, might as well just get some extra experience here. Try and minimize damage as much as possible. Um, although, you know, it actually might be nice if the musketeer dies, because he's going to come back with more health having died. Yeah, there. Um, and then we can get the finish with the flyer. Alright, so our units came back and we sent Camille to the Void, which is um, a good development for us. So, this city belongs to Camille, whereas it looks like this city over here belongs to Awanes. Interesting. Now, the other question is, do we want to even stay up above ground here? Because obviously, you know, there's some powerful, nasty units that could come in and do big damage to us since we are at really low health, as you can see. Um, yeah, I really should have taken... That was a mistake. I should have taken Healing Aura. That would have been a good choice rather than giving myself the extra hit points. I should have taken Healing Aura. Um, Alright, well, we can engage this battle and kill off the Succubus, at least. Try and just whittle down her forces a little more. Alright, uh, let's do... We have to watch out for the Seduce, of course, which is going to be coming at us. Ooh, big damage there. Additional big damage. And then I think we're just going to kind of turtle up back there. Excellent. Alright, so that takes care of the succubus. Now the big question, what do we do? Uh, we can't get there to fight this battle, nor would we want to, given our our uh, situation so maybe we you know I, I would love to oh oh my god okay that i yeah yeah that would be uh that would be a, a huge risk if i were to go in and try and kill off our Ness, who's by herself currently again she may have some hidden units that i can't see but that would be absolutely amazing the only problem is you know, again, look at my situation here. I'm not in a good way. And if she, if uh, Camille decided to attack me, I probably would lose this whole unit. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is a tough call. Um, you know, there's a big part of me that wants to just do it. Strong is she? Really not that strong. We could almost just send in... I mean, it would be basically a sacrifice, but... Could almost just send a unit in by itself to go and get that done. Oh, I feel like I'm going to regret this horribly. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to send the shock trooper over. He can be my scout. What The reason I'm doing this is I want to see if there's anything that we're not seeing. Oh, this is still quite a gamble because there's a lot of powerful units. I mean, this stack alone is going to cause me tremendous headache. Um... But I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I oh I might come to regret this decision, but I'm gonna do it. 
Oh, I, I, yeah, I already, I already regret it. I already regret it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we're, we'll send the unicorn back underground. Um. And then we can engage this battle. And we can try and kill off two leaders, not just one. I expect some spells to come at me, maybe. Oh, no. Okay. Um. Drop a heal on our flyer. And, uh... Charge in with our musketeers. There we go. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do this. And that's going to allow me to get in behind and do a nice big flank shot. Excellent. And then we can get the finish with our flyer. And not take any damage. Fantastic. Okay. That's two enemy heroes, or two enemy leaders, I should say, that we've killed off. At tremendous risk to us because now we have this stack that's not in good shape that's basically in enemy territory and oh my god I didn't even notice that so yeah I think Holly's probably gonna die and that that probably wasn't worth it to be perfectly honest I think we're actually gonna summon the hellhound here with Holly just to try and give another deterrent because I think what's gonna happen now is this stack's gonna move over this stack's gonna move over these units can move over. Oh god. Yeah. That was a that was not a good choice. That was not a good decision on my part. So unfortunately, I think I've kind of dug my own grave a little bit with Holly there. But we did kill off two of the leaders, which you know, I mean again may not actually end up being worth it in the long run, but we'll get ourselves over this way. Um all right. That's going to more or less do it for this episode. I think I'm just going to do a little bit of peeksy doodles here and see what I can see. Okay, not not particularly well defended. I mean, it is, but I think with what we've got, we should be able to to manage it. Oh yeah, we can we can handle this no problem. So we can work on the city of Nurm now. Um, can this little engineer get in there? Yeah, he can. That's great. Okay, so there we've got two stacks that we can use to siege this city. Um. Oh, I feel terrible. I feel so bad about this. Oh, poor Holly. I basically just threw her to the wolves. That was, oh, that was such a, in retrospect, that was not worth it. Not worth it at all. Oh, anyway, well, we'll have to see what happens next turn, I guess. Um, just before I end the episode, I do want to maybe just grab this item quick from the throne here. Repair bag and send it to, I think I'll just send it to Welby. So that way he has two means of repairing his machines. And yeah, we'll we'll take a look in the dungeon. If it's if it's not worth clearing, we won't worry about it. But it would be nice to get that extra production income. Uh, when I say if it's not worth, I mean if it's too dangerous. And yeah, I think we'll just leave it here for the episode. So, uh, boy, things are... That was uh, quite the interesting episode, I would say. Um, we had some successes and, again, some big blunders on my part. Uh, we've lost some cities... We've had just, uh, it's just up and down and all over the place. Things are going wild in this in this series, I would say. Um, but we will save it. And we're going to call this one episode 21. Oh, I still, I regret sending Holly in there. Oh, that was such a silly choice on my part. But, you know, we're, we, we make our choices and we have to live with them. So, in any case, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.